uh, myself Madhav. So today we are going to discuss and we are going to learn a concept called respiration. Alright, we have already discussed in previous video about breathing mechanism. In breathing mechanism, both expiration and inspiration, the two steps are involved, how it happened, we already discussed. Now in this video, we are discussing about respiration. We know that respiration is a mechanism involved by every cell of our organism. The, the main uh, purpose of respiration is producing energy because every living organism requires energy for its survival. In the same manner, even it is a unicellular organism or multicellular organism, it requires energy. So obviously it depends on respiration mechanism. So firstly, I have written here, respiration, every activity of organism requires energy. And this energy is produced by respiration. So what exactly respiration? So here, it is a one type of life process. It is a one type of life process. Because, you know, uh, in digestion, all the complex molecules are breaking down and produce simpler molecules. That simpler molecules undergo oxidation here and produce energy. Energy is in the form of ATP. So here, the simpler molecule is glucose and uh, utilized. Okay, here oxygen is utilized. Means the food is oxidized. Okay, and the oxygen is taken up here and produce energy ATP. ATP means adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate. So in fact, you have to know here adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate means adenine is a nitrogen base. You must have heard about DNA. You know, DNA is a polymer of nucleotides. There, adenosine, okay, four nitrogen bases you must have heard. Adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Okay, and even uracil also present, but here when we talk about DNA and RNA, we will differentiate with the two nitrogen bases that is thymine and uracil. Okay, so that adenine and joining with ribose sugar and the phosphate, so all together form ATP. So here adenosine triphosphate means adenine here three phosphates are present we must know about this ATP you know here for one phosphate is directly linked with adenine and okay adenine along with ribose that is ester bond whereas another two are disease and disease these two are phosphoanhydride bonds phosphoanhydride bonds so that is about this ATP, adenosine triphosphate is an energy, energy source. Alright, so now based on oxygen involvement, oxygen requirement, the respiration is two types. One is aerobic respiration and another one is anaerobic respiration. Here the aerobic respiration and here anaerobic respiration. If you talk about aerobic respiration, glucose, as I told you energy resource is glucose undergo glycolysis and produce two pyruvates okay after that that pyruvate completely okay it uh, undergoes series of chemical reactions in mitochondria and after that one more cycle that is electron transport chain so finally the last byproducts or CO2 and H2O and along with ATP is produced. So this is called aerobic respiration. Simply you have to understand that aerobic res uh, respiration have actually three steps. One is glycolysis, another one is Krebs cycle and third one is electron transport chain. So glycolysis, glycolysis means glucose undergo lysis. Glucose breaks down. Glucose breaks down. Lysis means in the scientific term that um, is another name is a breakdown. Okay, glucose breaks down into two pyruvates. It's a six carbon molecule and it is a each pyruvate. Okay, it's a three carbon molecule. The two molecules will be produced. Later on, this pyruvate will go to mitochondria 
and then there was a series of chemical reactions that was discovered by Krebs. So that is a that is anadarly uh, we call it uh, as a Krebs cycle. Okay, Krebs cycle, and we we can call it is we can call it as a uh, citric acid cycle also. Citric acid cycle. Why? Because the first standard substance is citric acid. So again, the cycle continues with our citric acid. So it is also called citric acid cycle. And then electron transport chain. Because here some um, you know NADH and FADH produced that involves an electron transport chain. So that leads to the byproduct CO2 and H2O and ATP we will give the complete cycle of glucose complete glucose oxidation will show like this so this is all about aerobic respiration and where the location if you are asked about location we have to say every cell cytoplasm every cell cytoplasm and mitochondria why because cytoplasm the first process glycolysis and in mitochondria the next Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain. So an example, plants and animals. Plants and animals, all eukaryotic organisms uh, and mycelial organisms will uh, have the aerobic respiration, all right? So now